Hey everybody, we're back now for part three of my Hellcat build. And I just wanted to kind of show you guys the progress I've made with it so far. Um, I've got the cowling put on, the engine with some detail installed in on it. I've also got a lot of the, um, uh, or hopefully a lot of the, oh, uh, putty work done on it. Uh, you can see there's some work that I did down here on the bottom of it. And uh, a lot of it was actually done, I think, during the gluing process. I couldn't really get any uh, any putty into these gaps, so uh, I think that's going to come out okay. So uh, I think this is the last time you'll see it uh, looking like this before I get some gray primer put on it, and I think I'm about to do that next. Uh, one point I did want to bring out, um, I've had my first uh, little accident with the kit and uh, if you guys put a lot of airplane kits together I'm sure this has happened to you at one point or another and what I'm talking about is right up here on the engine um, I was test fitting the prop to make sure that everything would go on smoothly and it got uh, it went on fine but when I tried to get it off uh, it wouldn't separate and I was trying to work it back and be as gentle as I possibly could and what ended up happening is I snapped the pin off right here that the uh, prop slides into. And uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it is stuck in there. So I tried to ground it out as much as I can. And I think after everything's painted, I'm going to try my best just to get it attached with some uh, super glue. And hopefully it uh, it doesn't look too crappy when it's done, which would be kind of a, a real bummer if it did. So uh, I think that's going to do it for this. And I'm going to get the uh, cowling here taped off and get the inside of the engine here taped off. And then I can get the gray primer coat on it. So uh, we'll take a look now at what that uh, looks like all primered up. All right, everybody. And here, as you can see, we've got the primer coat on it and uh, you can tell uh, in there that I put some just some sticks in there to kind of keep some of these holes plugged and uh, the primer coat came out pretty well uh, I don't know if you can see you can still kind of see the seam line there and you can see parts of it on this ridge there's a few places where it disappeared but there's a few more places where it did not so uh, I definitely still have a lot of uh, work to do there on improving there um, I think this will probably be the last little segment in this clip. I am going to head outside right now and get the pre-shading lines done, which will actually be my first time using the airbrush. Just the, uh, this work here I've been doing has just been with the spray cans. So, um, I think that'll do it. Uh, it came out, uh, you know, better than I was hoping for, but certainly not, not great, but... Uh, anyways, um, yeah, I think so. That'll that'll do it for this. Uh, the next clip you guys see, I'll have my pre-shading lines on there, and then we can get into the painting process. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time. All right, guys, and here we have it. Um, this actually came out a little better than I was expecting. Um, I've never used an airbrush before. I used it for about maybe 15 seconds before I started putting the paint on this guy. And um, everything that I've seen, uh, it got on a little thick down there, but uh, everything that I've seen for doing uh, pre-shading on panel lines, this is what it's supposed to look like uh, right before you start putting the uh, base coats on. So I'm pretty pleased with myself at this point. Um, we'll see how the next step goes as I start putting paint on. Um, what I think I'm going to do next is put the um, undercoat here on of white um, uh, the way the box art portrays it the bottom here is going to be white and then the top is going to have that dark navy blue color so I think uh, I'm going to start with the white coat down here first which actually makes me a little nervous everything that I've heard about spray painting white it's it seems like it's kind of a nightmare um, at least on some of the videos I've seen so uh, I certainly hope that's not the case <laughs> but We'll take a look uh, next now, I think, of how the bottom part looks uh, spray-painted white. So uh, I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, and here it is uh, with the white undercoat put on. 
And uh, unfortunately, I think I have obliterated a lot of my pre-shading. You can kind of see it in some areas. It kind of depends where the light hits it, but you can kind of make it out here and a little bit right here. But I did a lot of pre-shading on the tail, and I'm not really seeing any of it now. So um, I think I need to definitely work on how to pre-shade better. Actually, I think the pre-shading I did was okay. Uh, what I was doing, um, just to kind of show you guys, is just going over uh, in very light layers until I ended up getting the color I want. And from what I had seen, the pre-shading was supposed to kind of pop out, but it's not. Um, at least um, for me, but now I, <clears throat> it might have something to do with the paint I was using. Um, I'm using um, a Rust-Oleum enamel-based paints. Um, so that, that might act a little bit different than acrylics. <clears throat> Excuse me, but what I think I'm going to try to do for the top is go over it in a few layers um, and then I can still, or where I can still kind of make out the pre shading, stop going over everything and then just kind of focusing in on these areas and then um, trying to leave this alone so it, it might pop out a little bit better. Um, but, anyways, yeah, so uh, that's where I'm at on the Hellcat. Um, I think so far it's turning out uh, a lot better than I had expected. So uh, I think on the next video here you guys can see the uh, top coats that I get put on. So we'll be back in a bit. Alright guys, and here she is with the first coat of uh, blue paint for the top side. Uh, I'm kind of happy and kind of not. I can still see the pre-shading lines, which uh, if you remember on the white I've completely obliterated for the most part. Uh, I can still see them on here though, and some in some parts I really like it, like right around here. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, once I kind of get over onto this side though, they look a little too dark for me. And um, which is, is kind of true when, when I was watching a lot of the videos about uh, pre-shading. Um, people would say it would pop through, and I didn't really see that on this side too much, but I think, again, that's because I used too much paint. On this side, though, they looked a lot more subtle, and then after it dried, uh, you can really see on this side here, they just popped out. So I'm going to go on here with a second coat of paint to try to dull, dull these lines up a little bit. They're, they're a little too much for me. Um, and then also, if you can tell, like right around here, uh, I didn't get it as uh, even as I wanted to, and you can also kind of make it out around around this area that it's not um, it didn't cover as well as I would have liked it to. So I'm gonna get a second coat of paint on this guy, and it should fix all of those problems. Now um, another problem I was having is uh, I think I was trying to go a little bit beyond uh, my knowledge and. Uh, what skills I have to, to use an airbrush since this is the first project I've used one. And I tried uh, uh, by freehand to have this just kind of bleed off and kind of blend into the white. And um, on camera at uh, some parts it doesn't look too bad but if you can see it uh, all along here is this blue, it's kind of hard to see it, uh, is that blue spot speckle so I don't I don't really care for that um, I think what I'm gonna do is go back and mask this off and uh, mask off everything I want to be white and then I'm gonna go over it with another coat of white just to try to clean up these lines and make it look a little bit nicer I'm also gonna mask off the wings right here and put uh, some uh, detail like uh, some green paint I think inside these wheel wells to kinda make those stand out a little bit uh, also, again, I think I already brought this out, but I'm going to try to be uh, dulling out the panel lines. And then once I get that done and that coat painted, um, I'm going to put some darker blues um, along the, the tops and ridges that I've seen in some of the box arts. So um, it should look pretty cool. So I think, uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. I just need to fix my painting mistakes, which I don't think shouldn't be too hard. And uh, this guy should be getting pretty close to done. So, uh, yeah, I think that'll do it. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching this, and I'll see you next time.